Welcome to the Two Minute Tutor. Today we're going to be looking at what are the determining factors that decide what my head pressure is going to be in a refrigeration system. Now we've been discussing this particular semester air conditioning, but this applies to all refrigeration systems. As long as they have the five things that make up any refrigeration system, which is a compressor, a condenser, an evaporator, a cooling medium, and a metering device, as long as it has those things, then it's going to have a high side and a low side, and it's definitely going to have high pressure or head pressure. In having head pressure, what's going to determine what the head pressure should be? Well, I've listed on the board here five things that are going to determine what the head pressure should be in any unit. First of all, the type of refrigerant. Second of all, the condenser surface area. Number three, the outdoor temperature. Number four, the relative humidity. And number five, how clean is the coil or the coil cleanliness. All of these factors are going to determine what the outdoor, excuse me, what the head pressure is going to be on any given piece of refrigeration equipment. Not all refrigerants are the same. They have different boiling points, saturation points, and so forth, and that means that they're going to have different pressures at different temperatures. So the type of refrigerant is definitely going to be the number one determining factor as to what your head pressure should be. The condenser surface area, how large or small is the condenser? The vessel itself and the surface area that it has to allow heat to be dissipated from the condenser is going to determine also what your head pressure is going to be. What is the outdoor temperature? If the outdoor temperature is warm, the head pressure is going to be higher. If the outdoor temperature is cooler, then the head pressure is going to be lower. What is the relative humidity? The humidity is going to decide how much heat can be held within the air. So on low humidity days, our head pressure is going to be lower. On high humidity days, the, uh, with a higher relative humidity, the uh, pressure is going to be much higher. And then, of course, the cleanliness of the condenser coil. Is it clean or is it dirty? A dirty coil will give you a higher head pressure. A clean coil will give you a lower head pressure. So, when thinking about what the head pressure should be on a unit, we should always look at these five items because they're going to be the determining factors that determine what your head pressure is going to be on any given day. This is a two-minute tutor.